Hi guys, uh, video number three, uh, took a while to get around to actually doing it. Uh, it's been on my to-do list for like every day for the last week and a half and I kept on just kind of at the end of the day, you know, it wasn't done, crossing it off, putting it on the to-do list for the next day and, you know, I never got around really to doing it, doing it now, uh, finally. Um, sorry about the lighting, it's a bit weird. There's a, a light right above my head kind of thing and it's um, kind of got got this whole weird effect going on. Um, so in, in this video I'm just going to talk a little bit more about what I'm actually doing, uh, about my mission and stuff. And uh, yeah, talking a little bit more about, about it and why I'm doing it and all that. Uh, if you don't know what I'm doing by the way, you can check it out at volunteeroftheworld.com. Um, you can also check out uh, the previous videos on, on my channel and they explain it quite well. Um, basically I'm attempting to travel to and volunteer in like every country on the planet. Um, is it a minimum period of one month in every country and the causes have to be kind of meaningful, worthwhile causes. You know, it has to be kind of for a good cause, a good aim rather than just helping a farmer take care of his sheep or something. I mean, I love that, but the cause of it, at the end of the day, it's not that helpful, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm looking to volunteer um, at worthwhile projects, uh, doing worthwhile things. And I envisage myself working a lot with um, animals' rights, environmental issues, uh, working with children, impoverished communities, and ethnic minorities, uh, potentially the homeless and uh, sick people, uh, and a whole host of other other um, areas um, where help is needed, basically. Uh, so, four days until I leave, four days until I set off, uh, to towards my first country, which is Thailand, and I'll be um, volunteering in Thailand with stray dogs. Uh, so I, I've done a year volunteering with stray dogs before in the Republic of Moldova, which is, um, well, it's often called Europe's poorest country, and the conditions there were really, really bad for the dogs and also for the stray cats as well. And um, yeah, well, I'm super happy to go out and work with stray dogs again because it's something that I feel really passionate about and of course if you know me you know that I love dogs as well so uh, that's in um, that's my first project so that's in Thailand um, and I leave in four days for Thailand the today's the 6th of December when I'm recording this so I leave on the 10th uh, which is my birthday by the way and uh, I started that first volunteer project on the 20th of December, so 10 days after getting to Thailand. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like super excited and, you know, to get started, raring, really raring to go and, and you know, fingers crossed everything goes well and, and stuff. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go and I don't know what to expect just yet, but I hope that I get a lot of support and I uh, hope I do... I just hope I do good, you know. Um, so a lot of people ask me kind of, so why why are you doing this? You know, like, what is the, the purpose behind it? Or what are your motives? And there really, there are so many uh, reasons why. And I've, I've written, I've written a, a blog post about it as well on, on the volunteeroftheworld.com blog. Um, it's called, I think it's called 10 Reasons Why, and I give 10 reasons why I'm doing this, and there's a, yeah, a variety of different reasons. There are some, like, you know, mild, mildly selfish ones, like, oh, you know, I want to see the world, and I want to learn about the world, and learn about the world's problems, and it's going to be amazing, and I'm going to learn so much, and I'm going to be, like, such, such a better person at the end of it. Um, so those are, like, the selfish reasons. But then there are like other reasons as well, um, you know, uh, because I'm able to help and I want to help where I can, how I can. Um, I have the skills and the strength and the time to help out 
the best I can so so why shouldn't I uh, also I want to uh, raise awareness about a lot of the problems that kind of we're being faced with or certain parts of the world are being faced with um, because you know there's a lot of things that people don't really talk about on a day-to-day -day basis uh, and it's like in it's, it's like we're not on the same planet it's like just because we're in a different country or something it's like oh it's not, it doesn't affect us so it's fine and carry on go to the shops buy a mars bar whatever but it's like you know we're one planet and we're one people and problems that are happening happening somewhere else they're also kind of our responsibility in a way so i, I don't want to be too preachy or anything but I want to kind of try and raise awareness about some of those problems as well, um, which I did in Moldova when I was working with the Stray Dogs, uh, produced a vi video there, The Cruelty of Moldova. You can see that actually, I think I think that's on, on the Volunteer the World website somewhere. If it's not there, it's definitely on my other blog, meliovivere.com. I produced quite a hard hitting video uh, about the Stray Dog problem in, in Moldova. Um, and then another reason why I'm doing this whole trip thing is um, I was really fortunate to be born in the United Kingdom, uh, which is, you know, a fairly wealthy country, a uh, fairly free country. And I had, you know, the ability or the privilege to, to be in education for uh 20 years or something i don't know how long i actually stayed in education for but you know i went to school growing up and i went to college and i went to university and you know so much else is is available to me the stuff that we have available to us in in western europe and uh, north america and and so, some other places we really take that for granted a lot and you know, it's not fair that I should have access to those things and that we should have access to those things just because of where we were born and other people don't have access to those things because of where they were born. Uh, so I was lucky to be born where I was born and, you know, I had, a, I had an easy and a good upbringing and um, I didn't deserve that luck. So I want to share some of my good fortune with other people who were less fortunate with their circumstances. Um, cool, so uh, I don't think there's anything else I really need to say in this video. Uh, those were a couple of the reasons behind my behind my trip, a couple of the, ser yeah, the serious reasons behind my trip. Uh, really looking forward to getting started. So that's in four days, 10th of December, I fly out, but I don't actually start volunteering until the 20th of December. And, you know, for, for the for sake of rounding up or having a nice square date, um, I'm not officially kicking off my mission until the 1st of January. Just to have, you know, the oh, 1st of January, 0101, you know, 2019, nice and easy. Uh, uh, don't forget to follow me then on volunteeroftheworld.com. That's the, the website where you can basically follow everything. Um, there will be regular YouTube videos as well, touch wood. Um, and if you want, you can support me on Patreon. I have a Patreon uh, um, profile as well, and you can get a link to that. I'll probably write it in the description to this video, to be fair. Um, so for my next video, which will be the last one before I leave, um, I'm going to do like a question and answer session. So if you've got any questions for me about my trip or I don't know about me or about my plans or whatever, uh, you can write them here in the comments. You can also send me a message um, in any way you can, basically. You can send it to my Twitter. Uh, you can uh, send me an email to volunteertheworld1 at gmail.com. Uh, any other way you can get a message to me, you can. Um, carry a pigeon whatever telegram that's fine and yes so send me your questions if you've got any and i will do my best to answer them in the next video which i do which will probably be i'll probably put it up on like saturday or sunday um, before i leave 
on my trip. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, 10 minutes of me talking to the webcam. Thanks. Good. Uh, the videos will get a lot more exciting from now on, but you know, at the moment I'm just kind of in the pre-journey phase and like there's all this admin and preparation stuff to do, but yeah. Okay. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.